Hello, this is Mark from tradingform.com and welcome to this video on how to calculate three line break charts. In this video, the first thing I'm going to do is talk a bit about three line break charts. Secondly, I'm going to discuss how they can be included in a trading strategy or trading system. And finally, I'm going to demonstrate how we can calculate for ourselves three line break charts using Excel. Steve Nissen in his excellent book Beyond Candlesticks wrote that three line break charts are a more subtle form of point and figure charts. Now the key to understanding these, these charts is in the name. They're called three line breaks and they're a type of breakout chart. Now each one of these bars shown on the screen here is referred to as a line in this type of charting system. So we can tell that we have a break or a reversal when we have actually broken a below like we are here or above like we are here the preceding three lines. Now the advantage to using three line break charts is we can show a lot of data in a small amount of time. The moment on the screen I've got almost six months worth of data and we can see it very clearly on the daily time frame. Now three line break charts are quite clever in the way they use this data. They only Each line is only created on a significant price move and significant in this case refers to a break and the break must be on a closed basis. So we're ignoring all the other data that we often see on our charts, the open, high, low and low data. All the intraday movements or intraperiod movements are stripped out and we just have the closes and in particular the significant closes. The advantage of this of course is it simplifies our charts and we can see at a glance what is going on. If I scroll out slightly I'm showing the Euro US dollar pair here and all Forex traders will be familiar with this move that occurred over the second half of 2014 and the start of 2015 as the US dollar started to strengthen and the Euro weakened at the same time. So we had a great trade from just below 140 all the way down to just above parity. And we can see just by glancing at the chart that the three line break charts have picked this up very well. Because we're dealing with breakouts, the key aspect for me for these three line breaks is that they identify the trend. New trends are only generated when we're making successive highs at successive new highs and lows. And anything else, especially in this case, is irrelevant. So it's actually able to contract the data into one line if it's not making any significant move. So how can we use three line break charts in our trading? Well, the most simple way to do it is to trade and to open a position on a new reversal candle. Now we can wait until we have a significant trend in one direction. We can look for a new line that is a breakout of the previous three lines and we can start to trade in that direction. And we have some good opportunities here identified. We know that because these are three line breaks, once we have three lines, we're in a trend. We can also look to add to our position when we hit the new, when we hit three lines, consecutive lines. Three line break charts can work very nicely with other candlesticks. Uh, you, we may want to use Haramis and engulfing patterns and dojis to identify precisely turnarounds in price. They can also be combined with moving averages or momentum indicators such as stochastics and MACD to again to, to filter signals and also to provide 
trading entry points. Now I'm going to show how we can calculate these charts by ourselves. Now I've just got some normal data here, open high low close data, but the only thing we're going to use is the close column. And I've already started here, I've got line 1 which is the current line, line 2 which is the previous line and line 3 which is the previous to that line. Now we have to start somewhere so I've just entered the open and close data for the first two lines and beyond this we're going to start to do the calculations. Now for those of you who are interested in this by all means watch on if you would like to download a copy of this spreadsheet there is a link on the screen and in the description below where you can download a copy of this spreadsheet totally for free. Okay so I'm going to start off looking at when we generate a new close this is always the most significant point of a three line break. So we know that we generate a new close if our closing price is greater than the highest value we use max in Excel of the preceding three lines or if this close is lower than the minimum value. And we can close that up and if that is the case then we make a new line and we make a new line by taking the close value. And if we're not making a new line we just take the previous value. Okay so we've got our close value. And the next thing we need to calculate is the open. And if I just quickly go back to our charts here and zoom in a bit, one of the most unusual things about these charts is that they all follow on directly from the previous line. And that is the same in every single one of these cases. And what we know is that if we have a reversal, if we have a three line break, we know that the open price for that line corresponds exactly with the open price for the previous line. And if we have a continuation, we have a new line in the same direction, the open price of that line follows on exactly from the closing price of the previous line. Now how are we going to put that into Excel? Well the first thing we're going to do is look if we have a new higher close and that close was lower than the previous. Well if that's the case then we've had a reversal so we're going to take the open. How else can we get a reversal? Well we can get it if the close is lower than the previous and that close in turn was greater than the one before it. And once again we take the open price. Okay, the next thing we want to look at is our continuations. And this is where the close, well the first one will be where the close is greater than the previous close. And that was greater than the one before it. And in this case we will take that closing price. Finally we want to look at when the close is lower than the previous close and that close is also lower than the one before it. And we take the closing price. Now if none of these four situations comes to pass we will just take the previous value. And we're going to close off our four statements and there we go. Right, so the next thing we need to calculate is the previous line. Okay, so we know that we need to update our previous line when our first line changes. So, we know we're going to have a change and I've used here the plus, the greater than or less than value which means any change in the closing price and we're going to take this close here. If there's no change then we're just going to take the previous. 
and we're going to do a very similar thing here any change in the close a new line is always associated with a change in the close so if we do have that change then I'm going to take the previous open and if not then just the previous value and we're going to do line 3 using the same method so if the close has changed greater than or less than then I'm going to take that close and if not stay the same and then finally if the change if the close has changed then I'm going to take the previous open and if not I'm going to stay the same okay so there we have it we're just going to highlight these cells I'm going to double click here to copy it down to all the cells below we can use conditional formatting to highlight when we have a change for a, a higher line we can do that like this and we can do the same for a lower line so we have a visual representation of when our lines are changing so I hope you found this video interesting if you would like Please don't forget you can download this spreadsheet absolutely for free just follow the link in the description below and if you'd like more information about using excel to trade and to backtest trading strategies and about the financial markets in general please go to www.tradingformed.com